Good morning, everyone. I do not have a normal news update for you because I'm actually on Sanibel Island right now. I am staying at the Island Inn, just hanging out with this towel animal crab. <laughs> so I will have a separate video walking around the Island Inn, um, showing the room that we're staying in. And uh, I just didn't have time to do a news update today because I was on the beach all day doing a lot of shelling. It's an awesome time to shell right now on Sanibel. Like honestly, you know, I've, I've been to Sanibel dozens and dozens of times and this is the best shelling that I've ever seen. Just piles and piles of awesome shells like tulips and whelks and just bigger shells that I don't normally see. So um, I've just been walking up and down the beach I did get some footage driving around the island and we did eat at the Sanibel Grill tonight. Um, it was really good. I had fried shrimp and I was hoping to eat at Dock Forts tomorrow, but they posted they're not opening until Friday and we are heading out tomorrow. So we'll probably eat at the Island Pizza instead. That's another favorite restaurant of ours. So when you come in, I'm just gonna give some quick thoughts and feelings. Um, being here actually on the island after the hurricane. Uh, so when you come in, that main road is Periwinkle and that road's a lot of the, most of the storm debris is gone. Of course, there's buildings that are still in disarray, but the actual debris on the side of the road has been picked up. But when you go to the other road, Gulf Drive, which goes down the beach, uh, the main road that all the beach hotels are on, that's where the majority of the damage right now that tourists would see because tourists would be driving down that road to go to the hotels. The only hotel open right now is the Island Inn. But that's where we definitely saw the most devastation when we were driving around. All the hotels, all the condos, just so much damage um, that has not even been started to be repaired yet. So they definitely have a long way to go before tourists can return because I'm just mean because tourists need a place to stay and like I said the Island Inn right now on this beach area is the only one that's open. Um, Westwind Inn that we normally stay at, I, Tween Waters has said like in my news reports they've talked about how they're working on getting it open. Uh, I'll be honest I don't I don't see how that's possible. I walk by the Westwind Inn. I do not see how they're not gonna fix that up anytime So That, too much damage. The reason that the Island Inn looks so great is because the two newer buildings that were built in the last 20 years, so they are uh, more storm resistant, they survived. So even like, I'm in, what do we call it? The St Starkey House? Yeah, Starkey Lodge. Starkey Lodge. So there's two floors, four, condos downstairs and four condos upstairs. The, we're upstairs. Only the four condos upstairs are available for rent. The, the four downstairs, which I'll show in my Island Inn video, um, are being revamped or being repaired because the, you know, the storm surge completely destroyed the first level, it's even on this newer building. So um, that's, that's why we're able to stay here. So yeah, during the day, there's construction going on it doesn't bug me because we were walking up and down the beach. But if you come here and you expect to have an afternoon nap, it's not gonna happen. There's too much construction going on. Everyone we have run into has been super nice. Um, if you look at social media, it just a lot of, I don't know if it's locals or trolls, but there's just like a lot of negativity about don't come here. There's just, you know, we don't want tourists or whatever. You know, don't believe any of that. Everywhere we've been to has been super nice. When we checked into the Island Inn, it was a local that's working. We talked to her for like a half hour. She was super nice. Trust me, the locals who own businesses and work for these companies, they want the tourists to come back. They need that revenue. Um, when we went to the Sanibel Grill, it was definitely a local hangout. Obviously, we're tourists, but everyone was nice. No one said a word to us. I think they're too busy drinking beer and watching the sports channel. So uh, it's been a great day. I, I love Santa Bell Island and yes, it's absolutely heartbreaking to see all the devastation, but 
the beach is wonderful. The shelling's the best we've ever been. Um, the fried shrimp was awesome, but I could go on and on. I just wanted a short update because uh, I just don't have my normal news update. Um, when I will for Thursday, hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be back to my normal news updates on Thursday, but I will have all new footage to do a voiceover, you know, because if you've been watching for a while and you've been listening to my news updates, you know that it's been shelling from previous trips. So I've done a lot of recording today. So all my news updates will be new footage. And this is like, like I said, best shelling ever. Um, <clears throat> listen, I've been rambling enough because I'm gonna get up bright and early when the sun rises and I'm gonna walk that beach again because it's amazing. Uh, anyway, hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, please hit the subscribe button, especially if you wanna see all new Sanibel um, footage from just the state of how it is right now. Um, it is February Valentine's Day. So hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day and I will see you tomorrow with another update.